Assalamu alaikum fam, hope you're doing well. So in this book, The Concise Presentation of Fiqh, there's this really cool part that is very educational about the imam was appointed to lead and that if the imam sits to pray, you sit to pray. So here we go. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, narrated, Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, prayed sitting in his house during an illness, while some people prayed behind him standing. The Prophet, peace be upon him, signaled to them to sit down. On completion of the prayer, he said, The Imam is to be followed. Bow when he bows, and raise your heads from bowing when he raises his head. And if he prays sitting, then pray sitting. So here it was really cool to learn about, you know, don't go ahead. It kind of teaches you patience to kind of line up and synchronize with the movement of the one who is in charge. Really kind of puts you in your place in a way too when you think about it. Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Once Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, fell from a horse and injured the right side of his body. He offered one of the prayers while sitting, and we also prayed behind him sitting. When he completed the prayer, he said, Indeed, the imam has only been appointed to be followed. When he says the takbir, then say the takbir. When he goes into prostration, then go into prostration. When he rises, then rise. When he says, Samiya Allahu liman hamida, say, Rabbana wa la kalhamd. And if he prays sitting, then all of you pray sitting. This is pretty interesting because it gives you two examples of an illness and an injury. So in both cases, if the imam gets injured, or is ill and wants to pray sitting, you do what you have to do. You follow the rule. You don't just stand while he's sitting. It's disrespectful. You you fall in line. You 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 follow the leader, the imam. This was pretty cool, you know. Just so I just want to share that with you. So Anas and Aisha both have narrations on this subject.